today we're going to do an intro to uh, Euclidean geometry in less than 10 minutes or I'm going to get smacked by the sandwich. Uh, okay, so let's start. Uh, geometry is formed by uh, two words. In Greek, uh, geo means earth and metry uh, from trigonometry or uh, the metric system, you know, means measurement. So geometry basically means earth measurement and in the broadest terms, that's basically what geometry is. I mean, measuring angles and that, that kind of stuff. So, um, lo so there was this uh, quote by the uh, the father of geometry: uh, "All of nature's laws are um, are merely the bi the mathematical thoughts of Euclid." And um, and of course, <coughs> of uh, the and uh, of course. Even though Euclid was the father of geometry, um, he wasn't the first one to uh, use geometry. We can uh, guess that even the first humans, they found uh, tricks lying on the ground and they thought what was the relationship between these two openings in these uh, two tricks. So, we're going to start with the most, uh, the most uh, simplest structure in geometry, the point. And uh, the point is uh, it's zero dimensional, it can't uh, move anywhere, uh, left, right, or up and down. So it can, it's, uh, it has no width, so that's a point. Okay, okay. and uh, if we move on to one, uh, one, dimension, uh, one dimension, we have a line, a line can move left or right. And um, if we move on to um, two-dimensional, two, uh, we uh, have something like the coordinate plane, where we can go up, uh, I mean, uh, north, south, uh, east, and west. And of course, in the 3D, uh, 3D heavy world we live in, <coughs> uh, we have, you can, uh, I mean, perhaps a cube, but an X, Y, and Z dimensional coordinate. And uh, if you go into high mathematics, you might occur uh, four dimensions, which is like a tetrahedron or a 4D cube, which I, apparently, I don't know how to draw 4D objects. And apparently, no one does. Well, uh, anyway, now we're going to talk about... Uh, um, the other uh, basic fundamental structures you learn in geometry, such as the point, uh, the line, and uh, let me draw all of them out here. Okay, so uh, we already said what a point, uh, already defined a point. It's zero dimensional and it can't uh, move any direction. Uh, if you uh, connect two points, then you have a line segment. Um, a line segment, uh, it doesn't, it, uh, it's finite. It doesn't go on forever in either direction. And uh, these two little guys are called endpoints. And uh, we can uh, say, uh, we can uh, label these as endpoint A and endpoint B and call this line segment AB. Um, this is a line. Uh, these arrows indicate that it uh, that the line goes on forever, and um, and uh, you could also write this as line AB. And <laughs> this is a ray, and um, a ray uh, starts with an endpoint, so it starts uh, finite, and it goes forever in one direction only. Uh, which the arrow, the arrow indicates, and we can uh, label the ray as endpoint A and uh, B, so this is ray AB. Okay, so now we're going to um, we're going to use all the structures we know in uh, uh, the fundamental structures of Euclidean geometry, and. Uh, Form them into circles. 
Uh, so this is a circle. Um, a circle, it has, this is the center, and this is the circle's radius, which is, uh, you can see the radius is, uh, it's a, li a line segment from the center of the circle to any point in the circle, so this would be a radius, this would be a radius, or this would be a radius, but let's keep it simple. Um, <coughs> so... The radius is half the length of a circle, and of course, the full length of the circle is called um, the diameter. Um, so, um, you could label that n, uh, n point as A, and you could label this B, and <coughs> the, the distance around the circle, uh, we call that uh, the circumference. And when a line intersects the circle at any one point on the circle, uh, let's, let me draw it out. For example, if you have a line, and I'll use the blue color to indicate it. Let, um, so let's say this is line L. Line L is tangent to, uh, uh, to this circle because line L intersects uh, the circle at uh, this point. So uh, yeah, that was a basic introduction to uh, Euclidean geometry and uh, that's it.